So this is Kristen Kozad joining us. And Kristen's been part of our mastermind program all year along the Soulful Inspired Business Mastermind. And um, I love how you have blossomed in this year, first of all. I mean, I'm just... It's been a great year. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so much fun seeing you get out into the world and, and, and really just step out. So just tell us a little bit how this year has unfolded for you. I mean, what's, what's, what's the highlights for you? Well, in a nutshell, in yeah. a, in a nutshell <laughs> um, this year, I, I showed up at Ignite last year and basically thought, what the heck am I doing here in this room of these amazing women? I had a business that I absolutely loved and I had no idea what to do with it. And I had no idea the value of community in truly engaging my business and the bigger vision that I had. I had this huge vision. I just didn't know what to do with it. So I do remember the first day of Ignite, I, we, we did a project and you asked everybody to share. And so somebody prompted me, you need to go share that. You need to go share that. And I remember standing up in front of a group of how many were there last year? 80, 100, 85. And my throat just froze up. The only job I've ever lost was a speaking job. So I was a holistic nutritionist and was working for a company that was doing processed foods. So it was a disaster from the very beginning. So I got up there and my throat closed up and I was just petrified and I was shaking and I was not in my body at that moment. And I just remember talking to you, Paula, last year at Soul Speaks and I said, I need that. And um, the transformation that has happened through the community, through Soul Speaks, gives me that confidence with engaging that bigger vision for my for my business and what I do. It's you been amazing. You already had messaging. I remember you already had messaging. You ha already owned the brand Illuminating Purpose. Illuminating which, Purpose. Who, who has Illuminating, Illuminating Purpose as their brand and has the the website and the whole thing, right? I mean, it's like, so it was, it was brilliant that you already had that there, but this there was this blossoming that took place. And I really can identify it to when you came to Soul Speak. So mm -hmm. just talk about that weekend of Soul Speaks for a moment. What happened for you? Oh my gosh. Um, just learning, you know, I think that we know our lives so intricately and at the same time realizing this, I really do have a story and it's all connected and learning to bring that out and learning to just be with people instead of speaking to people was such a big deal. And I remember I stood right over in that corner and you said, just get in your body, just put your hand on your belly. I remember that the, the energy part of it was such a big deal. And that was all of it together was just a huge shift. And in that weekend, something just came together and just clicked and it changed everything for me. Changed so, the whole year. For it did, really it did. did. She just bought her a house. So I it's just, like, <laughs> just moved in two days ago. <laughs> Any questions you have for you want to here? Um, yeah, I mean, what what do you, what would you attribute like that to? What was the the thing that really shifted? What was the the big difference that it made? The big difference was dropping down into my body okay. and being really present instead of performing, mm. instead of feeling like I need to come across a certain way. Or I need to be the authority in something. It was more about the connecting. It was about the energy and the dropping into my body that was so pivotal because it's not only what we do up on stage, it's what we do in our lives, right? That when we're really being that authentic person that we're doing, we're doing that with the people in our lives. So I think that was the biggest thing was really just kind of just relax and drop into it. Just be who you are when you're with people. Be playful, be animated, be be just like everyone is talking about today. Be everything that you are and bring it to the stage and engage that and let people enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, because do you, you, you guys ever like, um, you ever see a speaker and they've got it all together, completely put together, every hair in place, they know how they're walking, their arms, everything's memorized. And you're like bored to tears, you know, or you're like repelled or whatever, because it's sort of like they have a, a plexiglass shield in front of them, which nowadays, unfortunately, <laughs> some of us know what that's like. Uh, but it doesn't penetrate forward because it, it's not 
it's not connected to you. And when you drop into your body, and I remember you, I mean, you're so bright. And when I first met you, I saw that. And so if you try to be something else, you miss that whole brightness that you bring, you know? So. Well, and I've seen that happen too with speakers where, where you're thinking, get out of the script yes, and crack a smile and be present or, you know, be able to fumble like you had said earlier. It's, it's so, so true in how we connect with speakers. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for seeing that light, both of you. Oh, definitely. It's unmistakable. Well, thank you. It's been fun to have you. And thanks for coming down today and joining us. And See you soon. Thank you.